How's it going guys? Hugh Sweeney back here with another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why I went for the 16 inch MacBook Pro and why you should probably do exactly the same. A couple of days ago, I went to my local app store, Mac store. I brought my son Ryan and I was really excited because I wanted to get a new laptop for ages. I've done without a laptop for a long time. I had a 2009 laptop for years, up until 2019. And I had my heart set absolutely on getting the 14 inch because I had watched an absolute plethora, like a shit ton of videos. So the general consensus uh, that I got from the videos is that the 16 inch is too big and you're so much better off with the 14 inch because it's so much lighter. And when you're traveling, you don't need those extra two inches. You're better with the 14 inch. So I went to get the 14 inch and I came out with the 16 inch. And I think that was a fantastic decision. So let's unbox it. Apple have changed their branding. Is that, their, is that their new logo on the side there? Uh, Jesus, watch your back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what color this is. And I don't know if there's a power charger involved. I know nothing about these laptops, trust me. Jesus Christ. I don't like this design. See this thing? This is just, I think it's weak. So that's gone. We don't need any more of that. So this is the one. What color is it? I don't even know. Everybody is using silver again. Have you noticed that? The space gray is no longer cool. And you know why that is? It's because everybody likes space gray and now everybody wants silver again. And there was a time when you couldn't get space gray. All you could get was silver. As long as it's not that rose gold, I'm happy, honestly. Space gray is cool with me. I had a silver laptop for 10 years. So let's uh, peel that off. Do you see that? That just came right off. Oh, look at that. Man. Why would you go with 16 inches? Here's one reason. Are you a video editor? Well, if you're a video editor, 16 inches is better. Sorry. Just the right amount of suction there. I like that. I can feel the draft down on my legs. I'm wearing shorts. So I was about to get the 14 inch and then I took this piece of paper with me. The owner of the store gave me this and he said, have a read. And it's basically the different prices. I compared the specs and the one I went with is the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Pro with a 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU, 16 core neutral engine, 16 gigabytes, gig gigabytes, gigabytes of uh, unified memory and a terabyte, a terabyte of, uh, of, of storage. It's got an XD, SDXC card slot. Yeah, okay. MagSafe. I never, I never had, oh no, I never had MagSafe. Did I? I did. Apple keyboard with touch ID, 140 watt cable. So there's, yeah, so let's take it out, I mean, God, man. Wow, I, I mean, look at it. I don't want to show you my badly bitten nails. God, they're terrible. Now what I love is the MagSafe charger. So that's the, uh, that's the internals of the box. That's the internals of the box. Designed by Apple in California. It's good to see that something is getting done in California. Um, I hear it's not too uh, great there at the moment. Joe Rogan moved out of California to Texas, Austin. This is nice. Um, I have one of these type thingies already for the uh, studio, I think. Do I? Yeah, for the studio keyboard to charge it. I got an iMac studio, a Mac studio, the basic standard one. So let me see. So this is a 16 inch and it's gonna be uh, my sort of away from home workhorse. I'm not gonna use it for anything other than edit videos. So this is the nice textured cord. I mean, if you've watched these unboxings already, you know that this is a textured cord. It's not just a shitty little, um... see, I should have a close up camera. I'll have to just crop in a lot. So that is the little, uh, the little adapter plug. This is Europe, by the way. Ireland is in Europe, just in case you didn't know. Okay, I'm loving this. Sorry, this, this, this is going on for ages. You're probably bored out of your mind. I'm really sorry. 
Okay, it's in. It's in. So, right, I'm going to give you a reason why, the biggest reason first, why you should go with the 16 inch. Oh boy, so it's space gray. Man, I love the shape. I love the squared off shape. Look at that. Oh, isn't that just a thing of beauty? What the hell? Well, that's the back of it. I had a 17 inch laptop from Apple, MacBook Pro. I had the first MacBook Pro, I think, 2009. <laughs> it started. God, I should have a camera facing this way. Look at that, it's starting up with the little, um, the little mask on it. Hello. So this is probably Monterey um, operating, 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 operating system. I, this, this is what it boils down to, why you should probably go for the 16 inch. There's a lot of small reasons, but here's a really good reason. If you're into video editing, right, and you're planning on going on a trip, say you're going on holidays and you're booking a hotel and you're going to be there for, say a week, 10 days or whatever, doesn't matter, and you arrive with your uh, 16 inch laptop and you set it up in your hotel room and you go out and shoot and you come back and then you're doing all your editing for your vlogs or your Instagram reels if you're one of those type of people. If you had a 14 inch laptop, would you say to yourself, I'm so glad I don't have a 16 inch laptop with me because it would have been so difficult to get that through the airport and on the bus and on the train or whatever. You wouldn't really. It's not that difficult to carry, is it? I mean, let's be honest, it's not. So that is it. Use I, English as the main language. Press the return key. English UK. Use British English as the main language. Press the return key. Use British English as the main language. Press the return key. All right. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. So the bottom line is, if you're a video editor, why not just have the extra two inches? So there's more reasons as well, so I hear. And one of them is that it has a bigger trackpad. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use voiceover, it's press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> the, the Canon R5 has got an overheating... Uh, oh, Jesus, don't do this to me. It's overheating, Christ. You have just more space to kind of put your hands on the actual laptop as well. You can just rest it there. It's got more space around the keyboard, which I think is kind of nice. When you're using a laptop like this, you have to ask yourself, you have to ask yourself, how often, how often are you going to be on the move with it? Like, are you going to be on the go all the time or is it going to sit in your house 80% of the time and then it's going to be kind of, you're going to be bringing it here and there. And if you're into videos, if you're into editing on Lightroom and Photoshop, you know, you're going to want as much screen as you can. If you, I have a 32 inch uh, BenQ monitor inside. So I'm used to looking at a screen that is twice the width of that. For there, so therefore, I want every inch of that 16 inches. I want that size. So the bottom line is, I went with the 16 inch MacBook Pro over the 14 inch because it has a bigger trackpad, it has more space inside for cooling, the battery lasts longer, the charger is more powerful, the speakers are better, so I hear, there's more space around the keypad for your hands to rest, and the screen is bigger, is, which is what you want for editing videos and images and watching movies and stuff. So the 16 inch is a no brainer for me. Looking at it now, it doesn't even look that big. I would have said that was a 14 inch if I hadn't known. I'm thrilled that I got space gray. I could have got the silver and then I would be like copying all the new hipsters who all want silver. I mean, that's not big. That is not big, if you ask me. Is that big? That looks small. I would, I would have thought that was 14 inches. Maybe it is 14 inches. What the fuck? No, it's 16 inches. It is a one terabyte SSD. To get a two terabyte would have been nice, but the cost goes up hugely. So I went with one terabytes. 16 gigabytes of RAM. It would have been nice to get 32, but again, you have to ask yourself, how good do you need the machine? My iMac Studio only has 16, and I think that's working out fine. So the bottom line is, if you're an editor, why would you not want those extra two inches? I just don't, I don't know why. The screen, that, that extra two inches adds up to a lot. If you're one of these people that's constantly sitting in a cafe on your laptop and you just do not leave home without it, 
Well then get yourself the 14 inch MacBook Pro or even better, get yourself a MacBook Air or something like that, even lighter if you're one of these people. But for me, this is perfect. I'm used to big stuff, I'm a big guy, even though I'm about half the size as I was two months ago. So just let me tell you about my sponsor of today's video, okay? It's iFootage Anglerfish Lights. I am sponsored by an anglerfish. They sent me lights weeks ago to review and I haven't done the review yet. And this happens a lot to me. I don't know why, but it just does. I get sent stuff and I go, lovely, the stuff arrived, I'll have the review for you next week. And then I get busy with work and family commitments. I unboxed all their stuff, I shot video content. In fact, it's gone on for so long now that I have three different hairstyles in the video. But all I can say is that I absolutely love these lights and I never review anything that I don't think I'm gonna like. This is the SL1 320DN light and I love it, it's great, it's super powerful. They sent me this big light box with it as well which is a great diffuser and it's my main YouTube light now. I love it to bits. I also got the 60DN behind me here from Angler from iFootage and that's lighting up the wall behind me there and that's a beautiful light. Plus I have the little C4 mini LED there as well and there's a temperature changer on that. These guys are fixed at 5200. So I'm loving the lights, there's a lovely temperature out of them. They don't have that awful kind of blue purpley tinge that a lot of LEDs have. There's a lovely kind of natural looking daylight to them and I think they're great. And that is genuinely my thoughts on these lights. They are great and I'm looking you in the eye as I say that, they're brilliant. So that's my thoughts on the iMac, uh, 16 inch iMac back blah. So that's my thoughts on the 16 inch iMac Pro uh, laptop. Just get the bigger one if you're a video editor and stop complaining about having to carry it around. Get a nice bag. You're gonna carry heavier stuff. I went to Norway shooting a video for a company and I actually sawed in half my aluminium homemade dolly and I brought that in a gear bag through an airport and it weighs a ton. Like times have changed so much. <laughs> what was I thinking? That was back in my drinking days. Okay, um, documentation, not really a thing anymore. We don't need that. I think we're gonna have a cup of tea now and watch some Netflix. So that's all from this video. I know it's not a brilliant video about MacBooks and stuff. I do hope you got something out of it if you're on the fence of what size to get. You won't catch me testing these machines and doing Geekbench and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. I just like to edit videos and I'm a working videographer. I'm somebody who makes a living from editing videos and that's why I chose this 16 inch. So that's all for myself, Hugh Sweeney, on this video and uh, do stick around for the next one, which is probably coming in a few uh, weeks. Uh, hopefully in the next two weeks. It'll probably be the iFootage lights video. Yeah, that's well overdue. Uh, subscribe if you kind of like the style of the video I do. If you don't, maybe just uh, hit a thumbs up before you leave. <laughs> uh, leave a comment as well if it's your thing. And um, other than that, you can check me out on Instagram, Facebook and the likes. So it's over and out for myself, you Sweeney. Until the next video, see you guys. Take care.